Arcadia Enterprise supports a wide variety of mapping capabilities, including international maps, country, state, county, zip codes, and street-level maps. We also support latitudes and longitudes, and DMAs, or designated market areas, within U.S. maps. Let's look at a few map visuals. Here, for example, we have a world population map, and the same information, but displayed with bubbles. A Coropleff map of the U.S. states and U.S. state population bubbles. This is a county-level map for California, or in this case, a county-level bubble chart for the entire U.S. We also support DMAs. So here you're looking at DMA maps and bubbles. Here are the zip codes that we support. Over here, there are two zip codes rendered as a bubble chart. Arcadia users can specify latitude and longitude explicitly to get a lat long map. All of these maps support zooming, panning, selection, and so on. Let's also walk through how we can build these maps from the underlying data. If I go back to the application group that contains them, and I look at, for example, the world population map, I can see that this is a visual type for mapping, which is distinct from the one that we use for Google Maps, Mapbox, and other external mapping integrations within Arcadia. Within this visual type, we ask for a geocode field, and then a measure. We can trellis these and get multiple maps on the same page. The geocode types we support are latitude plus longitude, country, state, county, DMA, and zip code. Note that when I specify a county name that is not unique, I have to identify its state. That's how we distinguish between, say, Midland, Texas, and Midland, Michigan. For street-level maps, which use the interactive map visual type, we're going to use a different data set. This data set has some latitude and longitude information, so let's use it to click over into the street map. Use the latitude and longitude on the geo shelf. These are picked up automatically because the names of the measures match the recognizable geocode type. Otherwise, you can specify which one is the longitude and which one is the latitude by casting it. Pull a measure onto the measure shelf. We are using record count. Refresh visual and observe the street level map that uses Google Maps. In the settings, you can specify the type of map that you want to use. In tile layer, you specify the kind of map by provider. If you pick Mapbox, you have to specify a Mapbox project ID, which gives you access to the Mapbox server. Then, in the layer options, specify if you want a heat map, if you want a cluster layer and custom colors, if you want circle marker layers, or anything else that makes sense for your business case. This is also where you can change the intensity of some of these features. Let's change the heat map radius and intensify magnification. Let's take out the cluster layers. As you can see, this is the same map, but with somewhat different settings. To learn more or try our free downloadable product, please visit us at ArcadiaData.com.